Okay, welcome back to Jagu Sims channel. So today we are going to discuss uh, self practice 1.1a. So the first question is uh, determine whether each of the following expression is a quadratic expression in one variable. If not, justify your answer. So quadratic expression in one variable. So you need to remember there are two rules. The first one is the highest power is 2. So you cannot have ad any other number like half or negative 2 or other other uh, not other numbers which are not a whole number. And it involves only one variable because it's stated here in one variable. So that means the expression must have only x or must have only y or p or q you cannot mix any of those so let's see question 1a x square minus 5 so this one the highest power is 2 and has only one variable which is x so yes this is a quadratic expression so for 1b you see uh, the power is 2, but this one is negative 2. So, no. This one is not a quad quadratic expression because the power, this power is not a whole number. Let's see question 1c. 3y squared minus 3x plus 1. Highest power is 2, but you have two variables, which is x and y. These two variables are different. So, uh, this is also no, not a quadratic expression. Question 1D, uh, minus half m square. Okay, so you have highest power is 2 and only one variable which is m. So yes, this is a quadratic expression. And this one is no because uh, the highest power is, is more than 2, it's 3, so no. Question F, x to the power of half. So half is not. So you cannot have a power which is not a whole number. So this one not a quadratic expression. Okay. So let's go to question G, 1 over x squared. This one also no. It looks like a quadratic expression because the power is 2, right? But this one actually is not power to the power of 2. Actually, it's to the power x to the power of negative 2. Okay, if you, simp if you simplify this form, it's uh, x to the power of negative 2. So no, this one is no. So the power is not a, neg uh, it's not a whole number. For question h, p square. So the highest power is 2 and then only have one variable so this one is a yes and for uh, question i you can expand it first because it's a bracket so you explain n times n you get n square and then minus uh, n times 2 you get 2n so the highest power is 2 and then only have one variable which is n so this one is a where uh, quadratic expression. So let's see the question two. Uh, de determine the values of a, b, and c for each of the following quadratic expression. So remember that quad for quadratic expression, the general equation is a x a x squared plus b x plus c. So you are going to find the a b and also c these three are numbers so a is the number in front of x square and b is the number in front of x and c is the constant okay which have no x or x square at the back so let's see question a 2x square minus 5x plus 1 so in front of x square you have a right so your a is in front of x you have negative 5 so your b is negative 5 and the number is a constant which is c so c is 1 so you just compare it to the 
compare the coefficient with the general equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so a is 2, b is negative 5, and your c is 1. Okay, so question b, x squared minus 2x. So your a is 1, right? And then your b is minus 2, negative 2. And you don't have C, so your C is a 0. Okay, let's see question C. 2Y squared, so the, the variable here is Y, so and the, in front of Y squared is 2, so your A is 2. There's no Y to the power of 1, right? There's no Y, so this number must be a 0. Because 0 times Y is nothing, right? You get rid of this. So 0 times y, so your b is a 0 because there is no y. And then your c is a constant which is 1. Okay, so let's see question d. Um, b squared in front of b squared is negative half. So your a is negative half. And your b is what? what uh, is the number in front of p? So it's a 4. You don't have a constant, you don't have a number back here, so the number is a zero. Okay, so for question E, you see uh, it's in different position. If you want, you can rearrange them first. If you don't want, you can just, uh, you can just continue, but it's better to rearrange so that you uh, don't get confused. So x squared at the front first, x squared, and then x in the middle and number at the back. So you can get a is negative 2, b is negative 1, c is 1. So I'm getting the number at the front here, a, b, and c. a, b, c. Okay, so for question f, you just have x squared, so your a is 4. And then you don't have x, you don't have a constant, so your b and c must be zero okay question g uh, h square plus 3 over 2 h minus 4 so your a is 1 because 1 time h square 1 h 1 h square is actually h square so your b is 3 over 2 and your c is c is minus 4 which is the constant and Let's move on to question, uh, question H. In, what's in front of K square is 1 over 3. B is nothing, so 0. C is the number, negative 2. And A is, for this one, you can expand first. So this one actually equal to, you expand it. So 2R times R, you get 2R square. 2R times negative 3, you get negative 6R, right? And then plus 0. You don't, have, you don't have to write plus 0. And A is 2, which is the in front of R square. And your B is negative 6. And then your C is nothing, so 0. Okay, so that's the answer for the self-practice 1.1a. So don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.